hi dear friends Chris here I hope you're well and yes I know I need a haircut it's way too long just look at it oh yep it's got to be cut and I'm after that my beard's gonna be cut too because I'm too bushy my whole head is too bushy <laughs> anyways um, I'm here for a unboxing today for you from a company called color relaxation and um, I hope you enjoy it I, and I wanted to thank them for letting me do a review for them and for asking me to do it and I hope you all enjoy it and um, check their website out you know give it a shot just look at it if you don't want anything don't get anything but it never hurts to look right I love to enable and finally the one last thing before I just hop over um, a couple of the obligatories um, remember I don't know the providence of this piece of art so if this is an issue for you you know as usual do what that with that what you may if you want to not watch anymore and um, of course follow me on Instagram Christopher K snaps I'll have the link below as well as the diamond painting of course link below and um, I just wanted to thank all my dear friends and true blues out there for coming back please like and and for all my new friends and mates please subscribe and like or dislike whatever you like it's up to you all right so thank you so much and I appreciate you all on to the unboxing have a great day hey dear friends Chris here so I have an unboxing for you to do for you to do I'm doing it what am I talking about for me to show you oh um, I th believe I know who it's from I've been tracking it but I just want to make sure so it did come in this bag of course like you generally do and it is actually did come in a box um, this company was kind enough to send me this to review for you yes and it is what I thought so oops, let me just take this off first okay so this is from color relaxation create your own masterpiece diamond painting it comes in this box um, the box is in fairly good condition not it's a little slanted but beyond that it's okay I'm good with it um, and again like I said they uh, they contact me and asked me to review for this for them um, well I picked it out of course so first off I'm happy to see some good things because I was a little worried between you and me just from things I had seen previous so and I'm never an expert on any of this stuff so um, I thought was thinking maybe it would be double-sided adhesive now I got us a, a round um, now perhaps maybe squares um, I don't know how squares come if they come pour glue as well or if they come I don't know if it has to do with sizing um, only because I only mentioned this because I have seen unboxings before and I do believe they might have been double-sided adhesive. Now, don't quote me on that because it had been a while since I watched it. Um, however, this isn't. So, I guess it doesn't even matter. Why am I going on about this? I ramble. I, Chris, got to stop with it. Uh, okay, let's get to the actually what's here. So, they did send these papers, which is good. I'm believing, obviously, these are release papers, I'm sure. Uh -huh. They're certainly cut like that. There are four, what, four pieces here. It's very thin. Um, that, that doesn't bother me. That's okay. I always use these kind of papers along with the actual clear sheet. I'm really, it's a, a masterpiece in itself, how I diamond paint. So we got those four pieces. Then we have this little toolkit. We have uh, a little white tray with the spout, the pen, clear pen, some wax, and you get a bent tweezer. So there we go with that. And this is the bag of drills. So the drills do come in this kind of nice sealable bag here. Um, they do come in these little, little baggies. I'm not gonna go through this right now. I'll probably do an um, add-on clip after I do the initial unboxing to do when I do the so I do the inventory 
um, because uh, I, you know, when you have these sort of drills, it's always good to do an inventory. Um, they're not my favorite, not because they're in tiny bags. That doesn't really bother me, and the quality doesn't bother me. Usually, it's because a lot of times human error. Um, even when, it, like in this, you do actually do see they did do a checklist. Um, I find a lot of times, every time I've had something like this, I've either been given a wrong color because maybe someone read the color wrong or I've been short on something. Um, again, that's not saying this is going to happen here, but that's why I'm more wary of these, of the train kind of thing. Even with the, the plastic baggies that everybody loves, I actually prefer my diamonds to come in like the kind of train thing because usually these almost never have issues. But that's okay. Uh, someone did check these, and we'll see. So let's get on to the actual canvas so I can show you. Let's see. Um, now, I wanted something like this for a while, and I finally found a nice picture. Uh, so, okay. They're lemon, or not lemon, they're orange slices. Um, I do love citrus pictures. Um, I don't know why, it's just a thing with me. Let me just move it this way. So this is in a landscape, um, you know, printed in a landscape. Uh, something like this, though, I, you know, you, you could hang it this way, although it does make them look a little oblong. That's why when I first saw it, I was a little hesitant. I was like, wow, those are really a little misshapen. <laughs> um, I don't know, again, the original art. Um, I don't know if it is, this is a 40 by 50 round, by the way. Um, so I don't know if the original art, if this is ex expanded or something, because like I said, this is quite large. Um, you know, I like it. Well, it's better, in, like usual, in the camera. Um, so that means it'll probably be better when it actually is drilled. It is basically a complete, almost orange painting, which I'm fine with. Um, there are guide circles, which is another thing I was really worried about. However... They're not the lightest guide circles. However, they're not, they don't look like they're the darkest ones either. So I'm not too worried about that with this canvas as of right now. Um, especially since there's very little, very little, I'm, when am I stuck on a loop? Um, white areas where that would be an issue. Uh, like I said, most of it is orange, yellows, and some red. Um, again, to me, I've seen a whole lot darker circles, so I'm going to withhold my judgment on that. And I think the, the actual drill might be a little bigger than the circle itself. So let me take you up close. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, it's just to give you a quick little looky. And here we have the photo from the website. Is, is that blurry? It's a little blurry, maybe. So this is what it should look like. And this is the actual picture. Um, one thing I noticed on this, uh, the color relaxation website is they tend to have, because I looked through a lot of the, the site to find this one, they, most of their work seems to be of photographs, which is very unusual. Um, so much diamond painting is um, taken from kind of, I guess, hand drawing. 
type thing, but most of their stuff seems to be photographic. Um, lots of animals, and there are flowers, and you know, typical kind of stuff, but not really any of these cartoony type things that most of these other, uh, basically every other diamond painting shop out there has, and you know, it's, it's just mostly photographs. So if that's something you're interested in, give them a look. Um, pricing wise, I think they're kind of more in the middle. They're not a budget site, but they're not a premium site either. I think they kind of fall, like, you know, mid range, a tick above, you know, well, I don't know how to describe it, but, you know, slightly elevated, but mid range. That's what it looked like. I mean, like I said, um, for this one, it was for the 40 by 50 uh, in U.S. dollars, it would be 35.25. So again, nowhere near a budget site, but probably if this was a premium site and this you had this kind of size, it would be more expensive. So you know, I could be wrong, but that's kind of how I'm thinking how it goes. Um, yeah, so I'm actually really excited to see what it looks, what it'll look like when it's done. Um, like I said, in the camera, I think it definitely looks better. Um, I hope it does come out because I hope this does actually have some definition to these slices. Um, so they're not just these gigantic orange orbs, you know, which, um, again, up close it kind of looks like that, but maybe in, when it's done, it'll look you know, like actual orange and lemons. So I'm going to, as my friends say, trust the process. And uh, I will have fun either way because I will say that again, I like working with these colors. Oranges and yellows I'm good with. Um, there are 37 colors. They use numbers one through eight. They have uh, then nine, uh, the, well, yes, the ninth color down t to almost the, uh, uh, who knows, 15, let's say, uh, there are letters and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine symbols. And I don't have an issue with those symbols. Um, so it all seems good. It's all perfect. This, the, uh, canvas is legible. I don't have a trouble reading any of the symbols on here. Everything is fine. Okay. And again, this is the color bag. Uh, I will, when I'm done with this, I will count this and uh, let you know if everything was here or not. And this is the inventory sheet that they do send with the kit. Okay, so hang on one second while I do the inventory and close out the video. So be right back guys. Okay, so I'm back. I counted it all. Everything is here and everything is correct. All the right amounts, all the correct drill numbers. So let's hope it all turns out well. <laughs> okay, so again, this is color relaxation. Thank you so much for sending me this to review for you um, and do the video. I will definitely, of course, link this diamond painting down in my description box. And um, yeah, so thanks again for the re letting me review it for you. Thanks for to all my lovely viewers and subscribers for watching um, and my dear friends. And again, until next time, be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.